she did not cry when she was born. Uh, the nurse even said, oh, what a beautiful baby you have, or a good baby you have. A good baby, they said, one who grew into a precocious toddler with no fear. She was in her high chair, and she literally um, put her pointer finger in her mouth and just ripped the skin right off. And, I mean, she wasn't upset. Doctors finally realized Ashlyn was her own worst enemy. Literally, she simply can't feel pain. I was not looking where I was going, then I crashed, and then my ankle got broken. But did you know it was broken? Now I just kept on going. It's called congenital insensitivity to pain. A pair of genetic mutations short-circuited the pain signals that go to Ashlyn's brain. She's just one of 20 documented cases in the U.S. Ashlyn is helping researchers study pain like never before. They want to know if there's a master switch for pain and how to turn it on and off. If they just could have one mo molecule like the way Ashlyn has, mm -hmm. you know, they would have the pay perfect painkiller. That painkiller may just save someone like Robert Hinton. The extreme pain that I get um, is like someone dousing my body in gasoline and just constantly lighting a match. A car crash led to a nerve injury, which led to the diagnosis of reflex sympathetic dystrophy. That's a chronic neurological syndrome that causes constant burning in the hands and legs. I've gone through having over 100 epidurals and nerve blocks just to try and get the pain where it's tolerable. A man whose pain won't stop a girl who can't even begin to feel pain at all. No way, Jose. Nothing's yeah. going to get me. A feisty girl doubling is a holy grail for pain treatment if doctors can only solve the riddle before she does permanent damage to herself. Taking action for your health, I'm Linda Hurtado, ABC Action News.